Hey guys, I got a great exercise for you and it's all about figuring out what you're worth per hour. And I want you guys to really take this exercise, do it, and have some big takeaways. So first off, you need to know what you've made in the last 12 months, your gross commission, right? So for this example, I'm gonna use $100,000. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that number, gonna divide it by 52, because that's how many weeks are in a year. Now for those of you who take vacations, you're gonna adjust that 52 to whatever it is on how many weeks you take vacation. But I'm gonna use for this purpose 52 weeks, because even when I'm on vacation, I'm still working as a lot of us know, right? So I take 100 grand, I divide it by 52, and then I'm gonna take that number and divide it by the amount of hours on average I work. It should be 40 or more if you're part-time, a little bit less, but for this example, I'm gonna use 40. So I take 100 grand, divide it by 52, divide that by 40, and I come up with $50 an hour. Now, now that you know that number, that's your gross hourly rate, right? Your gross hourly rate. I know you have you know, taxes and you have expenses, but that's your gross hourly rate. You guys should be making really, really big data-driven decisions based upon that number. So for example, if I'm entering things into the MLS, I know that's not a $50 an hour job, right? I know it's not. So that should tell me, and we're not, maybe we're not there yet, but that should tell me if I hire an assistant, if I need help, if I get a transaction quarter, if I need to get somebody to do some of these things, this is what I'm gonna delegate, right? Entering your documents and into their transaction management platform or turning your documents into your broker. Not a $50 an hour job, we all know that. So what I want you guys to do is one, figure out what you're worth per hour. I Hopefully it's a wake up call for you because it was for me when I did this years ago. And number two, I want you to start to write down things that are not your hourly rate. So I'd be writing down, entering things into the MLS, confirming appointments, scheduling appointments, calling for showing feedback. Like all of these things you should be writing down of when I have the right person or when I grow or is there somebody out there that I can delegate these items too because I am better spent doing producing items, right? I'm not, my time's not better spent doing this $50 an hour job when it's a $10 an hour job, a $12 an hour job, a $15 an hour job. I want you guys to use this as a powerful tool to help you make great decisions. So curious on what you guys learned from this. I want you to put in the comments what you're going to do. I want you guys to take, give me your biggest takeaway. I want to know what your biggest takeaway from this was. Are you worth a lot more than you thought? Are you worth a lot less than you thought? I'm curious. Do the exercise. Ciao.